Hi, it's Glenn Dietzel here. And I want to let you know right now that I'm not able to do this week's Business Breakthrough Google Hangout live because I've got a one day intensive at the Canadian Lake Home. So I want you to enjoy an interview that I pre recorded with one of my Omega Mind clients, Kenneth Lee. You're going to learn a ton from him about what he was able to accomplish and do over the three day intensive that we just had at the Canadian Lake Home. He just invested in Omega Mind and you want to listen to him. I look forward to our next business breakthrough Google Hangout and it'll be on there live with you. Until then, I look forward to helping you arise out of the sea of sameness. Go for it. Hi, it's Glenn Dietzel here and welcome to another Business Breakthrough Google Hangout. And what I decided to do on this Business Breakthrough Google Hangout is to interview another one of our clients. Uh, much like I did last week with Linda Schwader, uh, I'm going to introduce to you today Kenneth Lee. And Kenneth is our special mystery guest. Uh, Kenneth literally invested in Omega Mind just a few days before he actually came to the very first uh, three-day uh, business intensive that we just recently did at the Canadian Lake Home. So uh, I'm going to ask um, I'm going to ask uh, Kenneth some uh, deep probing questions. You're going to benefit a lot, so you're going to want to have a pen ready. You're going to want to take some notes because I want you to um, listen carefully to what he has to say um, about uh, the questions that I'm asking because it's going to bring out um, some really critical points uh, for you to start examining your own business uh, around how you're positioning yourself as a trusted advisor in a day and age where there is so much overwhelm and people are not sure who to trust. At the end of the day, people do want to trust somebody, right? And you need to be that person. So um, I want to um, ask some hard-hitting questions from Kenneth, like why in the world, when he's one of the questions I'll be asking him, why in the world would he invest in a high-end program and service when there's just so much free information online today? And some other deep uh, and penetrating questions, and I want you to listen carefully to his answers. And uh, it's also a check on myself too, right? It's really good for me to interview um, my own clients, uh, especially when they're just new into the program because you're going to meet Kenneth on his journey and um, and most importantly you might meet Kenneth if you're lucky enough uh, to uh, be vetted uh, successfully for uh, one of our programs and all of our clients meet each other uh, they get an opportunity to uh, support each other uh, and assist each other uh, using some pretty cool accelerated business systems and uh, accelerated teaching and learning uh, programs that we give to all of our clients to help them close deals uh, a whole lot faster and stop with the pain and the frustration. Uh, I just spoke to a couple of people today, one of them in particular, who talked to me about, Glenn, I have so many leads and it's interesting, he said, yeah, you know, leads, building leads is, is really, really easy. He said, converting the leads is what's so difficult and that's the truth. You know, if you follow what I'm teaching you, building not just any leads but the right kind of leads who want to invest in your highest end programs and services is going to uh, uh, our, our program and the program that uh, Kenneth invested in Omega Mind will make that a certainty for you so without further ado uh, Kenneth Lee are you there? Uh, I'm here Glenn. Yeah uh, welcome Kenneth and uh, thank you uh, for that uh, for availing uh, uh, your time I know you're uh, a father you're a husband, uh, you've got a busy consulting business and now you want to um, take what you're doing and grow it um, as an entrepreneur uh, in a whole different fashion. So I'd like to talk to you a little bit about that. So uh, Kenneth, let's start with um, your background. Uh, just share with us uh, you know, your background in terms of uh, you know, where, where do you come from and, uh, and speak to us from that angle. Sure, no problem. Um, I've actually spent the, the past 17 years being a computer systems engineer um, and a web branding strategist. So I've, I've been kind of like the secret uh, behind the scenes architect uh, helping big companies design end to end web projects and online branding campaigns. Um, I guess you, I, I, my clients have 
are including like companies um, like Tom Warner, uh, Discovery Communications, American Express, and I guess I've done a lot with uh, different startups as well, um, different local brick and mortar businesses too, just helping them with the same thing, just getting their um, their branding strategy, um, their web strategy, online strategy, and just how to how to use that to propel them into more business growth. Kenneth, how did you first hear uh, about me online and about our company? Uh, it's actually a funny story. I, I, I it was just googling. Um, I, I kind of stumbled on you uh, because I was already at that time, uh, and this was actually pretty recent. I was actually involved in a different coaching program, and I was actually just very, very frustrated with that coaching program. Um, it promised a lot, and and just the lack of clear direction. Um, made me start googling for more answers because I wasn't getting it from that from that program. So I was just googling around, and uh, I happened to to come across you and and your YouTube videos, and just the different information that you were sharing um, through your YouTube videos, and just started watching all of them pretty much, and uh, that's how I got acquainted with you. So I'm going to ask you a pretty pointed question, and yeah. I already had mentioned this question before, but with so much free information online. Yep. Uh, why would you ever invest in a high-end program like you did with Omega Mine? Yeah. Well, you know, honestly, I've I've been entrepreneurial for for a huge part of my life, and I've I've digested so much information about business and marketing that I really at, at this point in life I got to the point where I really understood that the only way that I was going to really accelerate my own success, you know, instead of just muddling through piles and piles of of training, you know, free training, free information out that was out there. Um, the only way for me to really accelerate my success was going to be to find a direct mentor, you know, someone who really walked the path that I wanted to walk and who was already doing it successfully. So that's why I, I made the decision to to join a mega mind because, you know, from everything that I heard from you, that's that's actually exactly what I found in you, and uh, I knew that's just what I had to do. Let, let's delve into uh, the mind of Kenneth Lee just for a second here. Um, sure. Just talk, talk to everybody about how you made the decision to invest. So let's, let's go there for a few moments. Uh, sure. Delve into how your brain was processing what you were doing at, at that time. Honestly, it was a scary. It was, um, it was a really scary leap. As much as I had my own dreams and my own goals, um, you know, investing into Omega Mind was was a big leap of, it was a leap of faith in myself. Um, but I think I got to the point where, you know, I just I had to I had to realize that the goals and dreams that I wanted um, to get to, in order for me to get there faster, I was just going to have to step out of my comfort zone. Um, and so that's when I just said, you know, it's either it's either this. You know, it's either Omega Mine or I just continue to to muddle along and uh, and try you know try to figure things out myself. And so that's when I figured out I just have to take the leap. What were your biggest aha moments in um in going in 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 taking a look at what what we do online and uh, some of the proprietary educational systems that you went through or consumed. I think when I started, um, well, when I started, you know, consuming your videos, I think what I realized is that there actually was a, a whole different, there was a different paradigm to doing things, to, to accelerating su your success that I actually had never really heard before. Um, I, you know, just been really used to the, the normal kind of uh, uh, business strategies, and and I, I think, I think my biggest aha moments were that there were actual, um, there were shortcuts. To accelerating your success, um, you know that there were actually some some really key elements that weren't commonly known or talked about. You know, and these were actually things that you started sharing in, in your videos, and and for me it was it was it was actually a really big eye opener because um, I didn't even I never thought about things in that way because um, they were pretty counterintuitive, honestly. Um, yeah, they're just really counterintuitive, and and it was a really a real eye opener for me, and and. Just really shifted my paradigm. Tell everybody what it was like um, for you to walk into the doors for the very first time of the Canadian Lake Home. 
Uh, it was very cool. Um, yeah, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, I just saw some pictures, but it, it it's a very um, it was a very quiet and secluded uh, place. It, it was like a real private high end retreat. Um, you know, walking into like your own resort home, pretty much. And uh, no, I was just really excited as I walked up the driveway uh, to to go inside. And I think once I once I got inside, um, of course it's it's a it's a great you have a, a great uh, great lake home. And I think inside uh, it it was it was a group of people actually that you had assembled um, that I think really also shaped the experience um, because you know sometimes you can walk into things like that and you know, maybe it can still be really cold, um, but I think what you've created is a very warm and open environment. I mean, the, the group of people that are in Omega Mind are just, they're, they're super welcoming, they're very warm, very authentic, um, very honest people, so definitely have to give you credit for, for putting together that group, and uh, no, it was, it was great just experiencing it for the first time. And as a side note, uh, we've been teaching, and uh, Kenneth, I want you, you know you're experiencing the power of having a vetting process. So you yeah. bring the kinds of people together that you want to work right. with. And I see so many entrepreneurs today struggling uh, because they're working with the wrong kind of people. So um, that's right. why it's very important to have an application process um, and, and use it. Um, discuss. Uh, your experiences that you had during the three-day intensive at the Canadian Lake Home. Sure. Um, well, first of all, of course, the teaching was great. and uh, But I think the thing that really stuck out for me um, with my experience being there for the first time, I, it, it really is, it's, it's the... Um, it's the shared collective wisdom of the group uh, that was there. And I think it was just, again, a credit to Glenn for, for assembling this type of group. But everybody was just so, it was like the collective experience that everybody had and just the openness um, that people had in terms of wanting to help each other. So, you know, of course, we gave each other a lot of tough love. And, but it was all done, um, you know, with, with the... Um, with the heart of really trying to help each other, and I think that that's something I never really experienced before. It was just that um, that you could you could assemble that kind of group of people, and just have everybody being that like-minded and that open and that willing, and honestly willing to help uh, each other succeed. I'm gonna ask another uh, 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 probing question, if you will. Sure. Um, what in your mind? Um, and this is for my feedback uh, mm -hmm. as well. But uh, what in your mind makes Omega Mind different than any other high-end program that you've ever invested in? I think, you know, honestly, um, okay. So two things come to mind. First is that first that you really focus on the um, the core essentials that you need to succeed. Like the other, for example, like a lot of the other uh, coaching programs that I've been in. Um, they throw they throw so many like well you could do this or you could do this or you could do this, and it it's just this whole data dump. But they never help you clarify what you actually need to do. You know what are what's the, what's the steps you actually need to take to achieve this goal. Um, so that's one of the big differences that I actually found um, is just that you you know you've you've gotten it down to the uh, the essential elements and. You know, you really walk us through it. So, you know, another thing that's different is is actually that you honestly really care about helping us execute and succeed. Um, you know, you really, it, yeah. I mean, you you really, I can see where you where your heart is. You really want us to um, take the right action and take action fast and and get results. And so, instead of just data dumping on us. Um, you are there with the Omega Mind members, you know, really trying to um, make sure we execute, and that's been really different. I've never really had a, uh, I've never had a, a, a coaching program or a coach who, I guess, really genuinely did that to the degree that you do. What would you, um, what stands out, or what would you make, uh, uh, what would your recommendations be, or um, for? 
um, for our viewers right now um, and, and helping them understand the importance of, of being a trusted advisor in the advisory age in which we live? Yeah, see, that was actually something that I really had to, uh, it, that was an eye-opener for me because I really, while I've been doing a lot of high-end consulting, I never, I never really um, got exactly how to frame uh, being a trusted advisor. Um, so one thing, one thing I've really learned from you is just that you have to, you know, it's all about how you frame, frame your advice. It's how you frame the whole context of what you're sharing and, and shaping the, um, you know, shaping the paradigm that people are seeing. So, so what I've learned um, is that if you build the right context and, and you frame your advice properly, you know, people actually, people get it. Like you don't even have to hard sell it because you, you framed your information and your advice and your consulting in such a way that, you know, it, people get it. Um, you know, and, and I'm sure, that, you know, as people start walking with you, they'll start to learn the difference between inductive and deductive um, uh, ways of framing. And, and those are actually really powerful concepts and that really, um, really shaped how I look at things. Uh, why don't you share with us right now how you are executing in business yep. uh, in ways that you never dreamed of doing um, just before you came to the uh, three-day Omega Mind Intensive? It's it's been well, I mean it's it's been it's been amazing um, because I think the the difference is now I have just a lot of clarity. Like I I know I know what I need to do. You know, I've, from your trainings, from the feedback from the other uh, Omega Mind members, like I know what I need to do now. And so, um, you know, I've only been on, in Omega Mind only for three weeks or so. But the, the difference between that and comparing to where I was even like a couple months back, um, I, I'm executing as if, you know, I, I don't feel, I don't, I'm not stuck anymore, um, basically. So, um, so right now, what, I, what I'm able to do after being in Omega Mind is uh, is really just move forward really quickly. Um, so I'm already putting together a lot of a lot of materials the way that Glenn has uh, has coached me to do um, in Omega Mind. And uh, yeah, just things are clear. I just there's no real like I don't really have to think about like, you know should I do this should I do this. I just I'm just doing now and just getting pieces in place and moving forward faster than I have before. You're following our intensive model, right? Um, yep. uh, among many systems that we teach our clients, and you've got your own intensive coming up in uh, like three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's something I, wow, I mean, that's actually something I didn't even, um, I didn't even see like a couple months ago, but now it's it's just like everything's just zooming fast into focus. And so, again, yeah, your one-day intensive model um, I'm really moving forward fast on that. I just booked um, booked a location, and uh, yeah, I'm excited. What it's, does uh, what does what does your wife see as the number one difference ab in you, about you since you've uh, it, it, since you've been a part of Omega Mind, Kenneth? Sure, great question. Well, she's definitely seen me. Uh, through many ventures, um, she's seen how I how I uh, get started, um, get kind of boggled down, uh, and you know push through different obstacles. But I think in this case, I think the difference that she's seen is that there's just a lot more, uh, definitely a lot more clarity of execution. Um, just I'm, I've been much more focused. I mean, she's noticed that I've been much more focused, much more determined. And frankly, she's been very relieved <laughs> um, yeah. that uh, that there's a there's a, def a definite sense of clarity and purpose, I guess that um, is different than before in my previous ventures. What, what would you recommend to our uh, viewers right now as their first actionable step that you would recommend that they take? You mean in considering Omega Mind? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I wasn't even uh, thinking of that. I mean, sure. I recommend uh, you know that that our, that our viewers, uh, um, what would be the the recommendation you would make to them in terms of a next step or an actionable step that they take right now, maybe to build clarity, um, to get more decisive about making a quantum leap 
within their own business and in their own life. I guess speaking from um, from a next step, I, I I'll speak from where I was, and and I think what I had to do, what I had to do for a next step is um, I guess I had to 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 make the decision to really stop just kind of fooling around. I needed to figure out exactly where I wanted to be, um, you know, what my goals were, um, and where I wanted to end up, because because you know, frankly, time is passing really quickly. And um, I think as the years passed for me, I just really had to really had to take an honest look at myself um, and what I what I wanted to do and where I want to go, what I want to uh, accomplish. Um, so those are I, I guess that's my recommendation for a next step. But it is more an inward looking inward looking kind of next step. Um, was there something I, I guess a different um, so okay, and, and so let me help, let me uh, just take through that here for for a few minutes. Sure. Um, you know, one of our speed to market principles is that he or she who self reflects the greatest controls marketplaces. Yeah. So, um, what would you recommend to our, our our viewers in terms of getting clarity on where they want to go in, in business? Mm. Um. Yeah, self-reflection. It's it's been it's been really key. I think uh, I think there's so many there's so many different. Um, for example, for my speaking again from my perspective. Absolutely, uh, from yourself. That's what yeah. I that's what I want. It, there's so many paths to business. I mean, there's so many ways to success out there, and not every not every path every path is sold as kind of like the answer. For everybody, but it's actually not. So, so what I had to do as a next step was get really clear on you know who I was, you know self reflect on who I was, where my strengths are, what my passions are, um, and really get real about that instead of just jumping from program to program to program, thinking you know this the, the next thing was going to be um, the key. Um, so getting very clear about myself and who I want to be and where I want to go. You are a, a father. Um, what's the uh, what is it that you want to teach your girls? Uh, yeah, no, I think about that a lot, um, and and I think even I, I want to teach them. I want to teach them how to be self reliant. Uh, I, I I don't want them to grow up having to think that. Um, they have they have to follow a path that society tells them they have to necessarily follow. You know that they can actually um, find their dream and actually pursue it. And this is actually a, a big thing. I I, I really want to model for them um, what I'm doing so that they learn and and you know take it take it into their lives as they grow. I mean they're really young right now, but. Um, but I hope that from what I'm learning right now and the experiences that I go through, it it paints um, it paints a model for them, a clear picture of what's actually possible, like what potential you actually have out there instead of just following the uh, the normal traditional, you know, going nine to five and, and following that route. Um, you can actually there's so much more you could do, and and you know my my hope out of doing all of this, you know. For my own businesses, I of course I want the success, but at the same time, um, definitely to show them and model for them that that they can actually make their dreams happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember uh, uh, when I was in your position and I was in education and teaching. I was a vice principal, and uh, I remember that uh, having the same uh, same thought patterns. You know, my boys were very young. Uh, they were uh, they'd be five and six, and I just thought, you know what? I want to be able to model uh, for my kids, um, not just tell them what I would, you know, uh, about success and what I think success is, but I wanted to model for them not just my interpretation of success, but the vehicle that can bring them success. Right. And that's why we say that. Your twin tickets to freedom are sales and marketing, and understanding 
how to become self-reliant on you know just playing big you know you kind of alluded to it uh, a few minutes ago that you know about your own decision making process and it's time it was time to play big and stop stop playing a small game because when you play a small game or when you play it what you think is playing it safe it's really just killing um, your business momentum today and that's why uh, so it was that kind of vehicle to freedom that was outside of what I was doing at that time and that was following other people's dreams for my life and moving up the corporate ladder in education and 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 you know becoming the youngest um, superintendent in education the youngest director in education which is what everybody had me doing um, but I didn't have myself really doing that um, and it came you know I found myself kind of pinned to the wall if you will uh, and and trying to fight back so um, uh, Kenneth I want to salute you on your ability to make fast decisions um, and and doing it when it certainly doesn't feel a hundred percent comfortable nothing ever does I mean if success we're always feeling comfortable about everything you do most people would never take any kind of action I know I wouldn't and uh, so there's got to be a bigger vision that all of you that are watching this today have that you're going after and uh, it's my privilege and opportunity to interview some of our uh, newer Omega Mind clients literally just literally came into the program um, pick their brains as to um, what the program's been like so far and, and let them share their um, hopes and dreams uh, especially in light of all the different programs that so many of our clients have invested in and uh, so uh, Kenneth Lee uh, thank you so much uh, for your time and I look forward to bringing you back on, on later uh, Google Hangouts and uh, featuring your success prominently congratulations on the traction and momentum that you've already got uh, on your one day intensive and uh, understanding the whole new realities of how to create um, fast and swift momentum uh, yeah. in the trusted advisory era so uh, a last minute comment from you Kenneth before we sign off today sure um, hey I, you know I'm gonna put in an honest plug for Glenn um, but Omega Mind has definitely yeah I, I, I guess being part of it has really made uh, a huge difference huge difference to my life and, and I'm just thankful actually that that Glenn had already started to assemble that kind of group and that I I'm I'm glad I, I well more than glad I'm I'm super thankful that I actually stumbled onto it at the time that I did and it's it's made all the difference to me in the world so um yeah I'm I'm inspired and motivated and and given the tools to move forward and and it's exciting yeah uh, and thank you uh Kenneth uh, and to all of you that are watching right now you know picture or imagine yourself having the same kind of clients as Linda Schwader and and Kenneth Lee and the reality is in today's marketplace it's never been easier to attract your ideal client why because you want to make sure that you follow one of our speed to market principles and that is following the seam of success doing what other people don't do can't do or wouldn't think of doing that's a very powerful principle in life and when you start focusing on that in a new way in business, focusing on what your competitors don't do, can't do, or wouldn't think of doing, um, it can start um, really getting you excited about how to build um, massive momentum and growth for your company. So on behalf of the entire Awaken team, I want to salute all of you to going uh, for your dreams right now in speed to market fashion. And uh, from Kenneth Lee, thank you, Kenneth, uh, for joining us today. And I look forward to our next business breakthrough Google Hangout, everyone.